James Melendez. So I have this white wine next to share with you. It is coming from the Cote Evolution in Southern France. Stay tuned. Levin de Bilalt and Cote Ocion is a region, it's Braille on the label, which is one of the key uh, callouts on the Michel Chapoutier wine. And uh, I think that's really cool, very inclusive, and uh, so it looks cool, but it's also functional. And back label here, you're gonna see that this wine is a 13.5% ABV wine. Now it's a blend of 50% Grenache Blanc, 20% Marsan, 20% Macabeo, and 10% Vermentino. Love that combination, and it comes out quite well in this wine. I think it's a really definitively beautiful wine. It doesn't taste like any other white wine, and that's because obviously it's a blend, but because it also is containing uh, things that I don't often think of putting together, like a Macabeo and a Vermentino. Uh, but they really are handsomely polished, beautiful. So first, the point score, 91 points out of 100 points. And now I'll talk about the scent characterization. So on this, I'm getting notes of green apple, green citrus, fig, flowers, and tea. Beautiful. Now next, the flavor notation. What I love about this wine, I get a hint of effervescence, though it is clearly a still wine. And I think that's a really wonderful thing. It's probably in my mind's um, you know, imagination uh, because of the Macabeo. Macabeo used in Spain and in terms of cava production. Maybe I'm just desiring a sparkling wine. Uh, but that's okay. I think that's a, that you know that uh, notation that is probably the Macabeo characteristic that's coming through and giving me that uh, somewhat of a reminder or hint. So this wine is giving a characteristic note in addition to the effervescence or or suggestion of effervescence. Better said, is uh, notes of green apple, hint of commas, pear, white tea flowers, and crushed seashell. So a little bit of that salinity, a little bit of that minerality to this wine. Again, 91 points out of 100 points. I'll put more information on the producer down below. Questions and comments, you can listen there or on the social medias that I'm on, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Like buttons down below, so please hit that button. And above me is a subscribe button, so please hit that button if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching this video today. I really appreciate your support. I appreciate you, you know, watching today's episode because for me, I remember in, in a few blog articles I wrote that, you know, I put my yearly wish list together. And France is one of the countries that I taste, you know, I, I've gone years where I haven't tasted a lot of wines. I, you know, I always taste wines from France. But, you know, I think there's a down point where I don't taste enough. And it's, it's one of the great treasuries on the planet is to taste wines from France. It's fantastic. And so many different characterizations. And uh, it's something that I never get tired of tasting. It's, it's fresh, wonderful. The dedication is there. And uh, I, I like finding all the sculpted wines that I've tasted over time. So thank you again for watching. Let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thanks again. Stay tuned for more. Sante.